Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range now. Today we've got the Remington RP9. I've been combing through my safes, trying to figure out what I want to take to the range. I ran across this. I said, it's been a while since I shot this gun. Now it is a full size gun with a four and a half inch barrel and magazines that carry 18 rounds. Remington claims that the grip width is amongst the smallest in the entire industry. And I have to say the ergos on this gun it's really nice for a polymer frame striker fire handgun and when this first came out people were really down on the gun they said it's not a very good gun it had a few problems i had a minor problem with it remington fixed it it's been fine since it's extremely accurate and it does have a nice trigger pull and then the reset you're looking at right there for the follow-up shots i found it to be very accurate i do enjoy shooting it. it's been a while I actually got in on a rebate. I can't remember. I think it was a $50 rebate. I paid $250 for the gun. So it was a steal. Now we're about 15 yards away from those targets. Let's see how I do. We'll start to the right at the bottom target. All right, only have a couple left. Let me try this one-handed. And that's it. Many people thought that this gun would be a, a battle gun or something like that. I don't think it was ever designed to be a battle gun. It would serve as a home defense gun. It would serve as range fund. You know, for a full-size gun at a budget price like that, uh, I think it's fine. Now, it does have a rail there to add a light if you want to use it for home defense. It does have a trigger bar safety in there, metal sights at a budget price with 18-round magazines. I think that's pretty good. Interchangeable back straps does come with two mags, by the way, and an easy disassemble, all right, which was the problem when I first got it was the disassemble process, but just like that, it comes off and you have really thick uh, slide rails, all right? And that, I think well, the reason for that was because they eventually came out with the 45 ACP model and they used the same one. In my opinion, I'm not 100% certain about that, but I do think the gun is great for what it for what it is. You know, you're not going to get, or you may not get the longevity that you would from a Glock or something like that, but... Considering what it is and considering how hard it is to find decent firearms in today's market, I certainly appreciate it. also has front serration. So kind of feature loaded for a what I paid $250 gun with a $50 rebate is pretty good. Let me load it up. We'll take a few more shots. I did mention that I was shooting steel case ammo. All right, so it handles that no problem. I fired a lot of rounds through this gun and it still works really well. MSRP. $418. Not sure about today's market. All you people that were ragging on this gun back in the day would really like to have it in your hands now because you can't find guns. But I'm going to take a few more shots and I'm going to turn the camera around so that you can see the recoil. Let's start to the left. got a nice feel let me turn the camera around you can check out the recoil I'm remaining 15 yards away nice 18 loads ejection straight off to my right smooth shooting very nice trigger Nice reset, nice recoil impulse, very light. And I will mention that loaded, the gun weighs 37 and a half ounces with 18 rounds. All right, back by popular demand is the lip wrist test. We'll see how the RP9 does. I can't remember how it did if I ever did a lip wrist test. But once again, steel case loads, Remington RP9, nine millimeter. Let's see how it handles a limp wrist. Ah, 
Nice! RP9 passed the lip wrist test. So all you guys dogging on this gun for all those years, I think I just demonstrated it's probably a little better than many people were saying. They had a, a little problem with the launch. So does Glock, so do other reputable companies. But Remington made the corrections and they produce a pretty nice RP9 that I really have enjoyed throughout the years. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.